Hi guys, this is Lon Steele from the Matic Adelaide office. Just going to chat to you guys about the new underground conformance module. Basically what it involves is a couple of scans taken by our new underground SR3 laser scanner. Just combined into a surface and I'm just going to view those now. In comparison to a design along with a centerline string which I will use just now. Basically what you do is you just get the uh, model and create a complex 3D surface. From there, go into the underground module and you simply grab the as -built, place it into there. That's your actual surface. And then the design, place it into the design container. And then the CAD, place it into there. Once done, you just say next. And a little window pops up and you will be able to edit and customize your report. In this case, I'm just going to call it Hangy Wall 4454, for example, just the development area. Author is myself. And you can customize using a logo. In this case, I'm going to use a MapTech logo. Images, this is just the titling of what you want to call your images. You'll see the top view and bottom view, left and right view, front view and back view and you'll see that in a moment. In the color scheme you can actually customize your color scheme, drag and drop it into there and specify your boundaries. If you want you can specify whether the color scheme is spectrum or different color schemes or if you want it as solid or not. With regards to the design color you can actually select it and customize the color that you want. In this case I'm going to use that one and say OK. You can actually also customize your, your report mass. So in this case, I'm going to use 2.8 and 2.8 for the density as an example. And I'm going to report the cost. I'm going to use a very low cost for the overbreak material. And in this case, because we're in a development area outside of the ore body, we're just going to use $250 per ton. You can also customize the number of sections, bigger or smaller. And you can also select whether you want portrait, landscape, or best fit. Once done, you just select next. And you wait for the system to just check on the different cross sections you'd like to use. Once you're happy with that, you can actually bring in customized cross sections and you say next. This usually takes about a minute or two. And once done, you can actually be able to customize a few other features. Right, so at this stage, the panel is actually moved on to this section. So it just gives you an example of what you'll see in the report. So in this case, it's showing you the top and bottom views in terms of what's over break and under break, the left and right, as well as the front and back. It also starts going through the sections of what you will expect to see in the report. You can edit some of these images accordingly, but I'm not going to go into that now. And you wait a couple more seconds and it comes to this panel. So with this panel, you can actually see what your PDF is going to look like at the end. So what you'll notice is actually the top and bottom view, the front and back view, as well as your side views. It will also show you each cross section and according to the section plan shown in your introductory page. showing you the cross sections and also finally a report which you can save anywhere on your computer and basically what it looks like is something like this and it's just a normal standard PDF that you can email out to anyone. Something that's quite nice is this report at the end it just talks about the overbreak and underbreak total volume also as a percentage you can also with the cost I've put in there it's calculated sort of the cost at your given thresholds and what it's costing. Something that's also quite useful is that in the report it actually shows you the overbreak and underbreak solids. It creates them separately so you can actually use them as two separate solids. So for example it's shown the overbreak solid and I can right click and go query and uh, select the solid volume 
And it's just going to calculate that quickly. And that will pop up at the bottom of the window over here in the report window. And there you go. There's the total volume area. And that is shown here in the actual report. Thanks for watching. And if you want any more information, contact our closest MapTech office available on our website. Thank you.